What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my long awaited room tour. Now I'm going to be going through every single thing that I've got in this room, covering it off in a reasonable amount of detail as well. It's going to be quite a long video, I was thinking about splitting it into two pieces but I think I'd rather just do the whole thing in one go so anyone who wants to see any particular piece of kit can just navigate their way through this one video. Now a lot of these products you will have seen on my main channel, the one you're watching this on now, but some of the other things, some of the old classic Apple equipment and some of my Apple memorabilia from posters to little miniature statues to all kinds of different things are over on my vlog channel. So be sure to check that out. I will leave a link in the description below. I do a daily video on there every day and cover off a whole range of stuff. Now also, there is a video for pretty much every single thing that I've got in this room, so I will leave a link to those in the description. It's going to be a big long list, but if you want to drill down into more detail for any particular thing, just click in the description box and click one of those videos. Anyway guys, this is most definitely the most requested video that I have, so I really hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get on with this. So here we go guys, this is the view that I get when I walk into my room. I have laid a couple of extra things out on the desk, but just to show you, they're not normally there, but most of it is there on a day-to-day -day basis, and this is really what I sit out and work out every single day running my businesses. Now on the bottom here, we've got three 27-inch Apple Cinema displays. They're absolutely fantastic displays. They're very, very expensive, but you can see here just the difference between those displays and the standard LED displays that are above them with the 24-inch Dell units. I just absolutely love these screens. I think they're awesome, and I would definitely say they are worth the ridiculous asking price that Apple asked for them. Now let's just work our way along here. On the right-hand side, I've got my Canon MP640 multifunction printer and scanner. Great bit of kit, bit of an ink guzzler, but all in all pretty good value for money and I use that on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, down here on the floor, I've put out my camera bag and opened it up and in here is all of my DSLR photography stuff. So first of all, my main camera. I use this for a lot of my videos and I also use this for pretty much all of my photography as well. Now this is the Nikon D7000. It's a fantastic bit of kit. I actually upgraded this from the D5100 some time ago. I do love Nikon equipment. It's just awesome stuff. Never had any problems with it whatsoever. And if you guys want to get into the kind of just before pro level camera, sort of high end amateur level, this is definitely the camera for you. Now this one's got the 17 to 70 millimeter Sigma 2.8 on it. And I've also got some other lenses in here as well. One of them is the Nikon 40mm 2.8 macro, the 50mm 1.8 prime, 35mm 1.8 prime and I've also got the kit lens along with some additional flashes here for doing off camera flash photography. Also in there I've got some remote triggers and memory cards and various other bits and pieces as well. Now I just want to show you what I've got here taking pride of place above my monitors. This is an Apple clock that I bought off of eBay. There is a video for this on my vlog channel, and again, there'll be a link in the description for that below. And this is actually made from the base of an Apple iMac G4. So a classic piece of Apple kit, and it's been turned into a clock, and I just absolutely love it. I think it's an absolutely fantastic thing to have up on your wall. And in fact, if we just tour around here to the right, I've got my poster, one of my favorite posters, the amazing Bruce Lee, who I absolutely love, big, big Bruce Lee fan, and it's also got the Think Different logo there in the corner. Absolutely love this poster, and it kind of takes pride of place there over on my wall. Now let's just work my way around the desk. First of all here, we've got what I consider to be the best piece of tech engineering of all time, and that is the small MacBook Air. Now this one is actually the 11 inch version, it's got 128 gig of SSD and 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's the 11 inch screen and I just think it's absolutely amazing. It's a fantastic feat of engineering and I use this on a day to day basis when I'm travelling. You can see it's extremely thin, ridiculously thin and I just think that that is an absolutely amazing piece of kit there from Apple. Now over here on the right hand side got a small dock with some rail card tickets that I need to claim back there. And then in these pouches 
I've got some tiny Viho Atom recorders. Now these are literally tiny little video cameras that you can actually just clip onto your front of your vest or wherever you want to do or onto the front of your mountain bike or whatever you want to do and they're just fantastic little video recorders in a tiny tiny little package. Next to that I've got my muck off cleaning kit, fantastic bit of kit. As you can imagine cleaning my screens is not an easy thing to do and this is by far and away the best cleaning stuff that you will ever get your hands on for cleaning like screens and phones and all that kind of stuff. Moving slightly over here on the right, we've got my, oh sorry, the left, we've got the BlackBerry Bold 9900. I use this for all of my BBM stuff, for a couple of my businesses where most people use BBM. Fantastic phone, love the build quality of the Bold 9900. Definitely BlackBerry's best ever phone as far as I'm concerned. Next to that, we've got the iPhone 4S. Loads of issues with the iPhone 4S, battery, signal, uh, loads and loads of stuff, but still for me, the best phone that you can get on the market today, and everyone already knows everything about the iPhone 4S. Next to that, I've got this tiny little Kingston memory card reader that just pokes out there, and that reads pretty much every kind of memory card you could ever need to. Below that, I've got the Xbox 360, just sitting nice and neatly in there. And I don't really play the Xbox 360 that much, but I do from time to time, and I absolutely love the Kinect stuff as well. That's absolutely awesome. Moving over, we've got the Zoom H2N microphone, and I use this for a lot of like podcasts and live shows, and this microphone definitely is the best value for money microphone that you will get in terms of audio quality. It's got fantastic audio quality and you can also slot an SD card in it and some batteries, take it out on the road and it, then it becomes a digital audio recorder with a whole load of functionality in terms of recording options. Brilliant bit of kit. Next to that, we've got my Steve Jobs iHub. Absolutely love this. Some cheap little bit of kit that you get over from China. I think they cost about five pounds. If you check out again my vlog channel, you'll see that I've done some reviews and tests on these and they are just a nice looking bit of kit and I love the way the Apple logo lights up there on the front. Just below that, we've got the full size wired keyboard from Apple. I really wish they'd bring out a wireless version of this. I can't stand the wireless version, the Bluetooth one. It's just too small. In fact, I've got one just under here and I just don't like the size of it. I just can't get on with it for some reason and I really do wish that Apple would actually make this keyboard wireless. Next to that, we've got the Magic Mouse. Absolutely love this mouse. It definitely is the best combination of mouse and keyboard, I think, personally, to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Absolutely fantastic. Now, we've got the HP Touchpad. I actually bought this when it was at its maximum price when it first came out, had it bought over from America, and then about three weeks later, all the prices plummeted, which was an absolute disaster for me. My girlfriend uses this most of the time, but still, a brilliant piece of kit and I love WebOS and I hope that the open source guys really do take it forward and do some great stuff with it. Just over here I've got a tiny little Samsung 500 gigabyte hard drive that I use for taking around with me when I want to transfer data and then on top of that I've just got a tiny little remote there for my Nikon camera, tiny little shutter release remote there. Further over, I've got the Sky HD box. This enables me to watch the full range of Sky HD channels on one of my screens. Brilliant service by Sky, a little bit expensive, but if I want to watch the football, I've got to get well in there with the Sky. Now, just next to that, I've got three remote controls. Now, the left-hand one is for the Sky, so that's all the satellite channels. I've got my Logitech one for all of the audio system and then I've got this tiny little one here and what this does is it actually controls the lighting in my room for when I'm making videos. Now I'm not actually using the lights at the moment because I've got a lot of light coming in through the window but if I'm taking videos at night then I need to have a lot of lighting to get good quality and what you can do is if I just pan out here if I press one of these buttons I've got a floodlight behind there and then I've also got another one behind there and you can see that they, they bounce the light off of the ceiling and give an absolutely ridiculous amount of light in here making sure that you get fantastic detail in everything that you're taking a video of. I'll just shut them down. <clears throat> now next to that we've got first of all on the right hand side the Galaxy Nexus from Google made by Samsung. This for me is the best Android phone on the market 
The 720p display is just absolutely insanely good. I absolutely love it, fantastic. Ice cream sandwich, a definite improvement over what's gone before, but still for me, doesn't match up to iOS. Next to that, in the middle there, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S2. Definitely, definitely behind the iPhone, the smartphone of the year in 2011, in my opinion. Fantastic bit of kit, ridiculous specs, great camera. Didn't so much like the operating system, but all in all, a brilliant, brilliant piece of kit, and no one would be not pleased to have that phone. Next to that, got the BlackBerry Playbook. Love the BlackBerry Playbook for the fact that it links up by a bridge to the BlackBerry Bold 9900, and you can do all your BBM and stuff on that. Great screen, great cameras, absolutely fantastic cameras on the BlackBerry Playbook. And just a really, really nice bit of hardware as well. Great bit of kit and I really enjoy using it. Now, below that, we've got probably my pride and joy in terms of Apple equipment. And this is my 15 inch 2011 MacBook Pro. Inside here, I've got a crucial 256 gigabyte SSD along with 16 gigs of RAM. And this laptop is just a beast with the Sandy Bridge processor. Got the high resolution glossy screen and I use this literally all the time. It's a fantastic laptop and I just absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend it even though it does have a reasonably large price tag associated with it. Again, I've got a video of that with the SSD up on the channel and all these links will be down in the description for each individual product. Over here, I've got my Blue Yeti microphone. I don't use it so much anymore since I've had the Zoom H2n, but what a brilliant looking piece of kit. Fantastically engineered and just looks delightful sitting over there. Next to that, I've got my speaker control center. Can't remember the exact model of the speakers, but they're the 7.1 speakers. And again, there's a video for them up on the channel. I've got a little 720p Logitech webcam there as well, just as a little spare in case I need it. And just to let you know as well, my main webcam, the one that I use for pretty much all of my live streams and even some of my vlog videos as well, is this one. And this is the Logitech C910. It's a full 1080p webcam, and this thing delivers ridiculously high quality video for a webcam. I can't recommend this enough, guys. You can pick this up for about 40 pounds, about $55. It's absolutely awesome. Now, I'm gonna take you around to the back here. It's a little bit of a mess because it's all hidden behind my monitors, but I'll show you anyway. First of all, I've got the Synology DS212J. Got two two terabyte hard drives in there, and that again is a brilliant, brilliant piece of kit for the money just to be doing all of your time machine backups on and storing all of your data. Next to that, I've got this huge floodlight here. These are the ones that I turned on and off earlier using the remote control, and they are literally about five pounds from Amazon, about $10, and they are the cheapest, most effective lighting that you will get, other than the fact they kick out a ridiculous amount of heat. Also sitting around the back here, I've got my Mac Pro. Now, this Mac Pro is the latest Mac Pro, which unfortunately is the 2010 version. It's the quad core one. And again, I've got a video up on the channel which describes all of the features and config and specifications of my Mac Pro. So definitely have a look and check that out. Now, I'll just show you what I've got sitting underneath my desk. By the way, that's my chair. It's just a kind of ergonomic chair. I don't know how much it cost or where I got it from, but it is very, very comfortable. I definitely recommend an ergonomic chair. Now underneath my desk, I have a whole load of storage. I've got all these plastic boxes and they're just full up with all my cables, cleaning equipment, tools, and everything that I need to get access to. And they're just chucked away there. They hide the cables and also give me a ridiculously amount of good storage. On the floor there, something I've just reviewed, the Revo K2. It's a little DAB stroke IAB device holder that plays all of your music. Fantastic bit of kit. Again, you can pick up the review for that on my channel. Really, really like that and I use it a lot around the house. On the floor here, I put down my rucksack and this is the rucksack that I actually use to carry around all of my devices when I'm out and about doing travel, going to meet customers, etc. It's a Targus one, again, link in the description. Fantastic bag, I think you can pick that up for about 40 or 50 pounds. Now, on my windowsill here, now this is not a permanent place that I'm gonna have this, but uh, I am actually moving soon. If you've watched my vlog channel, you'll know that I'm moving on the 31st of March. 
So when I move, I'm gonna have a much, much bigger office and a studio as well. So all these things will probably go up on the wall. But this is one of my favorite little things that I've got. It's an iMac G5 that's been made into a mirror. So you can see my reflection there, obviously. And it's just the front of an iMac G5 that's been turned into a mirror. And I just really like that. It's gonna look really nice up on the wall in the new studio. Over here, I've got this Kingston 128 gig USB 3 pen drive here. Waiting to get some USB 3 on some of the Apple products and then that's gonna be really, really useful for some very, very fast immediate data storage and removal. Now here, this thing here, you're thinking, what the hell is that? Now, what this is, it's a thing by a company called Viho, and it's actually called the Duopod. And what this actually is, is a connection of a monopod, which is this part here, that you can actually unscrew, and then it's got a tripod mount on the top. I've got this tiny little Viho movie here on the top. And then the bottom is a small little tripod. Now you can put them together like I have for doing this kind of video that I've been using it for, or you can separate them and just use it as a mini tripod with the extendable legs. That's gonna be coming out very, very soon from VO and a great bit of kit, especially for the money they're gonna be charging for it. As you can see, sometimes I use it as just like a little security thing or I just record outside just for some fun. In fact, there, you can see my car. That's a six series BMW, because loads and loads of you ask what my car is. Uh, and then let's work our way around. Now things are gonna change slightly on the opposite sides of the room. Over on the previous side, we've got all of the new Apple stuff. And then on this side of the room, we've got all of my favorite Apple classics. Now, first of all here, one of my pieces of pride and joy. This is the iMac G3 Snow Edition. Now, this is a very, very old and rare iMac G3, and I absolutely love it. I just love the way it looks. I don't use it that much anymore, but I just love to have it sitting there because it's just a beautiful, beautiful machine from Apple. As we work our way along, I've got a few iHubs. I've got my iPad 2. I don't use the iPad 2 that much. I tend to mainly use it for reading magazines and books and things like that. Probably don't use it to its full potential, but maybe when the better resolution iPad 3 comes out, I will begin to. Now next to that and behind it, I've got this, I won't get it out, but this is a mint condition iBook G4. Now that thing's probably about seven or eight years old and it's in absolutely perfect condition. Just the same as all of my old Apple classics are and I just absolutely love that. I've got the original box for it and everything and it just, just is a fantastic looking bit of kit there from Apple. Now over here, this is my favorite Apple ever made by far and away the most beautiful Apple device ever made, and it is obviously the iMac G4. This is the 20 inch version, and I just absolutely love it. There is a video for this on my vlog channel, I'll leave again a link in the description, and I just think that this is just the most beautiful creation ever in terms of a computer. It's just beautiful. The way that it is got the arm on the back of it to the snowball base, it's just beautiful, and even now, sitting in a room full of new technology, it still stands out as an amazing bit of design, and I just love it. Love having it sitting there, and I use it all the time. It's an absolute pleasure to use. Got the old wired keyboard, and another Magic Mouse that I've got connected to it through Bluetooth, just because I love the Magic Mouse. And here we've got this tiny little iPhone or iPod dock. Now there is a video for this on my vlog channel that I've done recently and again you just put your iPhone or your iPod on the top here and it's got the same kind of design as the iMac G4 and I just really really like it. It's just a nice nice bit of kit and when I get a bigger room it's going to look nice with this stuff a lot more spread out and laid out everywhere. Now I've got my shelves. I'll just show you a kind of draw back here. Now, first of all, another picture of Bruce Lee but just because I'm a big Bruce Lee fan that's on a canvas. Up above that, another hero of mine, Bob Marley. Absolutely love Bob Marley. And then up on the wall here, we've got another Bruce Lee, and then we've also got Al Pacino. And what a great film that was. These are original prints as well, so I absolutely love those. In fact, just to show you as well, my Rizzler poster. <laughs> How cool is that? It's not actually a poster, it's actually a metal piece of metal, so that's kind of cool. Now, let's just show you what I've got on my shelves. Now, we start at the top. First of all, I've got this little app racer. It's a remote control car that you can actually control via an application on your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad. Got my little saxophone player there, alien saxophone player. 
I used to play the saxophone and someone bought that for me as a gift. I've got my bonsai tree and I keep that well trimmed and I really look after it. I enjoy doing that as well, nice and peaceful. And then again, I've got my app copter, which is the same as the car, but is obviously an, a helicopter. And again, you can control that via an application on your iDevice. If we just move down, I've got my two tiny little mirror books there. These are just tiny, tiny little things. They're just literally mirrors. In fact, if I get on the right level, you'll be able to see me. But I just love them. I think they look kind of cool. A nice little thing there from China that I've bought over. Again, there is videos for them as well on the main, on the vlog channel. I've got this controller unit here. This just tells me the temperature in the room as long with the humidity and the time. Uh, and I picked that up for about five pounds off of Amazon. Just a kind of cool little thing to have. In the background there, I've got the Nikon 24 to 70 millimeter cup lens. <laughs> so it does look very, very real, but it's actually just a, just a flask for putting drinks into. And here I've got my beloved Steve Jobs character. This thing's been kind of made completely out of clay. He's sitting on the Apple base there. He's got the iPad in one hand and the iPhone in the other. He's got his glasses on and I just love that. Just a nice little thing to have kind of lying around the room. A couple of aftershaves there. I've got a couple of watches in there, Breitling watches, and then that they are sitting in this kind of funky looking ashtray thing, which is actually a wine bottle holder, but I just like the look of it. Anyway, let's work our way down. I've got my little cupboard here. I've got my iShoot Raw and Frono's photo stickers, along with some Apple and some Muckoff stickers. And in here, I keep a whole range of stuff just to keep it out of the way. Now, here I've got a few removable hard drives, a couple of terabytes worth of hard drives that I use for just storing all my work and data on and videos and various other bits and pieces. I've got this new Trent battery charger and this thing's a 10,000 milliamp hour battery charger and it will literally recharge your iPad about three times. So fantastic for if you're going on an aeroplane or going on a long distance journey. All my battery chargers in here, I use all removable rechargeable batteries for everything. Got my Nikon one there as well. Now, if we come down a little bit further, I've got some of my boxes for some of the Apple kit in there. I've got this slider that I use for some kind of cinematic effects like I did when I was doing the trailer for this video. Nice two foot slider. I've got my Lilliput external monitor that I use for using in combination with the DSLR so you can actually see yourself while you're filming. So that's on a little bracket. So you just put your DSLR on there and then you have that face in you and then you can see what's going on on this little seven inch LCD display. Got a little LED light there as well that kicks out a ridiculous amount of light if you're doing close ups on certain photography or videos. And that's my little cupboard. And in fact, I believe that ends my room tour. So that's pretty much everything guys. Now, I know I haven't gone into a massive amount of detail on every single thing that I've got, but like I say, check out all of the links in the description below. I've got a video for the clock. I've got a video for the poster. I've got a video for the Steve Jobs man there. I've got a video for the iMac G4, the iMac G3. I've got videos for pretty much everything that you can see on my desk at the moment. So be sure to check all of those out along with a whole load of coverage for all of my displays and how I use them and the config of my Mac Pro as well. Let me just spin this around. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's been fairly long, I think we've clocked up something like 20 to 30 minutes. Please do subscribe, it really does help me out. Please do hit the like button again, that really does help me out. And leave your questions down in the comments section below. If you got to the end of the video, in fact, write on the comments, uh, snowball, just so I know you got to the bottom of the video and I can see how many people actually reached the end of this extremely long video. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Please, please hit that like button. Please, please subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.